didn't like worrying about the numbers that you know suddenly it becomes like a weight around your neck i don't like that so i decided that i'd stop it and i, I realized that like we we did this uh, interview with banning yesterday and i was i was talking to a few of the liberalists there and this has helped them and i'm sure like other people in other communities as well tremendously because now that like people aren't going for like a, a you know like a a regular weekly roundup show you know they, there are lots of people doing them but i think i was kind of monopolizing it in a way and and now i'm not doing it they they're doing much better you know everyone else around is you know people are people are getting their news from that sort of uh, location and it saves me the hassle of having to do that because I mean, I think people understand that making a regular weekly roundup show is not like an easy job. I mean, sure, you know this yourself. You know, you've got to you've got to spend a lot of time researching and reading stuff and putting things together and finding things. It's not no effort. And so for me, it's a great weight off my shoulders. And for everyone else, it's it's like a big new thing that they can get their teeth into. And I just feel that this has been a, a great solution for everyone because now I don't have to be burdened with it because it, it does it does become a burden after a while and uh, and it, it get again it gets you into the sort of like bunker mentality especially when you're the one who thinks you have to do it all on your own and i think i learned at mythcon i don't and i i I'm, it's not just i don't have to do it all on my own. i don't think i can do it all, all right now let me even let, as far as i can get right let, but, let, let me let me get in here because yeah, uh, sure. you know your famous uh your famous debate with Richard Spencer. Uh, you and Richard Spencer are. <laughs> you reminded me of Richard Spencer here with your with your ability to talk so long without without me breaking in. But uh, l- let me go ahead and break in here. Uh, you mentioned MythCon. Uh, by all accounts, that debate. I haven't actually watched the whole thing, but I, I watched some of it. I think Richard Carrier was the guy that you. Uh, well, went up I can against. give you a quick rundown. Um, Richard Carrier had no arguments, and I crushed him on every point. But I was a really belligerent twat. And Richard, it, it, I, at the end of it, I felt as if I'd basically been kicking a puppy, and I felt really bad about it. Okay, so is that what uh, you know spurred your change here, the phase two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, yeah. what what does phase two actually mean? Because uh, I mean, it sounded well, almost like you, a, like did you not watch the interview with Bannon? I actually have not. I did see a couple oh, of clips man. from it. Yeah. Um, last night we were doing some other stuff. I didn't get a chance to watch it. So. Dude, Bannon is like you think I'm a talker, Bannon. Bannon can talk forever, but it's so interesting and engaging what he's saying. And unlike, like, if you watch a bunch of his, I've watched a bunch of his interviews with, like, um, you know, like ABC and CNN and all that. And the interview is constantly, every two seconds, interrupting and saying, oh, no, no, that's not my narrative sort of thing. You know, they don't give him time to, you know, they don't allow him to actually lay out his points. Obviously, we have to talk about Medicare, right? I mean, uh... really? why? Well, I mean, it's 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 just been it's just something that's not really. Why is he playing with furries or something? Well, we had to. We tried to get you guys on stream to talk forever, and a matter of fact, we did email me. He he knows how to contact me. If he wants to talk, I'm happy to talk to him anytime. Okay, all right. Um, but what 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 are the actual things the 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 things you want to talk? Well, about? Well, okay, that's that just drama, you know. Let's not bother with that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what what is drama though? Like, what is your? How about this? <laughs> to go philosophical, what is your definition of drama? So, I mean, you can look That's at almost any topic and, and say, well, you know, this this displeases me. This is just drama. I don't want to talk That's, about that's this. a great question. I don't know. Um, oh, I excuse suppose, me, waiter. I suppose I would waiter, just say, uh, waiter, interpo- uh, uh, where are my appetizers? I've been waiting. Yeah, for I, I would minutes. say I would just say it's thirty uh, thirty minutes, waiter. Where like are my appetizers? Actually. My frittatas are going to get cold. Can I speak to your, Can I speak to your manager? No, I, I this Maybe service is this service is horrendous. <laughs> I heard I heard I heard you were going to mention a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad you're here, Jim. Oh, I, I'm sure you are. I am actually. I, I'm genuinely. Hey, glad hey Ralph, can I say one thing before here? before Please. we hear this amazing idea? Uh, yeah. Twenty twenty thousand viewers, and look who shows up in chat. Oof. How you doing? How you doing, Oof. Carl? How you doing? I'm good. Um, so. You know they keep talking about Gamergate. No, who's they? The left. Uh, <laughs> the, the collective left. Have they all yes. gotten together to discuss this? Okay. Yeah, they they go on about it all the time. Um, the latest one was, you know, the, obviously Kavanaugh, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with him, was a guy called Mark Judge. He apparently wrote two articles in support of Gamergate, citing Mr. Repsion, a YouTuber. I did see and that. They, we talked about on the kill stream. I don't know how many times, you know, how often you get to catch. Yeah, that was show, like two weeks ago, I think. Yeah. We, we did yeah. talk about <laughs> it on the show. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Um, but that's pretty recent, really. And then you think like all the other ridiculous. Well, I mean, it, I mean like, it's, it's recent if you don't watch Ralph. Know. But if you watch <laughs> Ralph Weekly, you you heard about it when it was breaking those. That's okay. That, that's great. Don't you know? <laughs> I'm sure it does. But it's not just that, is it? You know, there are there are loads of other, and we could we could find a huge list of things that they've said about GameGate to magnify it. I mean, I I have seen the most colossal overreaches in the description and sort of influence of Gamergate coming from the left, you know, like the Guardian, the Independent, you know, like shit like this. They bring up all the time and they're always making Gamergate out to be this giant fucking boogie monster. And the FBI investigated Gamergate and found that Gamergate did nothing wrong. I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a time warp. We're in 2018, right? This this yeah, hashtag yeah. is dead yeah, at this point. It's been yeah, four yeah. years. I mean, I yeah. feel like we're talking like about chinology. Yeah. Should I get my Guy Fox no, no, mask no, no, on to talk about this gay listen, shit? No, no, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. We're not talking about Game Again, right? It doesn't really matter about Game Again. What matters is the boogeyman that the left have conjured up. And they've conjured up a fucking hell of a boogeyman. And you know they're still afraid of it. It's still there, there under the surface, right? They have this kind of subconscious fear, I think. That some and that's why they keep bringing it up. I mean, fuck, Justin Trudeau condemned Gamergate. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Well, right? now, Carl, I have to be fair. I have to say, oh, it really, Carl, it, it, it really depends on the politician, now, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I yeah. mean, you've got to take it on a case by case basis. You do. Yeah. And what? Do. Who, 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 uh, who on on the other side <laughs> might actually support Gamergate? Who uh, on what what sides are we talking about? Democrats and Republicans. Uh, who supports Gamergate in the Republican camp? Mm. I fucking don't know. Mark Judge. I, I don't pay. I, don't <laughs> yeah, pay. I can tell you literally, <laughs> Mark Judge, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with Kavanaugh, supports Gamergate. <laughs> Congratulations for Mark Judge, I guess. Yeah. But what? I guess just where, where are you yeah, going with right? this exactly? Isn't that, isn't that funny? Isn't that just fucking well, amazing? Like the idea that there's a game yeah. gate supporter, like in the room with a guy who's alleged to have sexually assaulted the woman, who is then the center of the entire fucking like world's media for a week. That's that's fucking incredible. <laughs> it was a bit entire fucking like world's media for a week. That's that's fucking incredible. <laughs> it was a bit surreal, but but what I mean, what like what where are you going with this though? That's what I don't. Well, where do you think I'm going with this? I have. Uh, I have no Sargon, idea. Sargon, I mean, literally have no I idea. Really like, I'm, 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 you can do this. I, I I'm not even both. being sarcastic. I, I, like I, you I messaged me, and, I, I, can I just one. say you All messaged right. me? You seemed like really hype about whatever the idea was. Uh, oh, I'm I, fucking hype. And I have I'm no idea what you're hyped, talking right? about. And then you start talking about Gamergate, and I'm just like, what? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, this is this is why I'm thrilled you're here, Jim. I am fucking thrilled you're here, right? I'm thrilled that you guys, the some of the core people in Gamergate, are here, so I can talk to you about this. This is exactly what I wanted. Do you not think? It would be really interesting to see how far we can make this go. Who's we? I, that sounds very collectivist. I thought we we're individualists here, Carl. The collective internet. Do you not think that would be funny? Do you I think mean, anybody how, on the how, internet gives two fucks about Gamergate at this point? It's it's no, become a joke. No, like no, I don't, Jim. That's the point. That's the that's the entire point. <laughs> what is your pitch exactly? Get get the band back together? Is that what is that what you're saying? Like I don't I don't understand. What, what would Look, they think Gamergate is a tremendous, universal, and categoric evil, right? Who else do they think is a categoric evil? Uh, I feel like I'm fucking lost. What are we talking? What is your plan? Oh, yeah. What is your? I guess I what's your idea? You hit, hit us with it. Try and use a bit of just, just try and look a bit ahead. Just look a bit ahead. How if, if we're if talking you, about Gamergate? I'm looking behind me, not ahead of me. <laughs> no, you're not. You're looking way, way ahead. But you just, I don't know. You can't seem to do it, can you? I know I can't. I need you to shine a light Think on of it. From the left wing's point of view, right? They are genuinely afraid of Gamergate, which is why they keep talking about Gamergate. What are you saying? That, like, no, is it is it what I said though? What what are you are saying? You saying Gamergate raped and killed a woman behind an Arby's in 1990. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just I, me, saying, Gator, not Gamergate. Better, yes, right? yes, yes. So again, if Gamergate is the eternal boogeyman, what would be the worst thing? That Donald Trump could do. Uh, He's I mean, not going to co-sign Gamergate. He doesn't even know what they. But it could most... tweet out hashtag Gamergate. Is that what you like? <laughs> most people have no idea what Gamergate was or is. I don't think you you realize that 
it's a thing on the internet, but most most people have. So no yeah, idea we what we it talked is. about this. I, I of course know exactly what Gaming Gate was because I was in it. Yeah, we all know. I of course, I wouldn't, we, I wouldn't yeah, presume we, what people are thinking like that. We all know. I'm just saying the public at large probably maybe 25. percent Yeah. Of course now everybody on Twitter don't. knows what the fuck it is. You know, a lot yes, of the you know journalists and stuff know what it is, but uh, yeah. as far as the public at large, they don't. You, okay, how do you get black people to join the alt right? Give them watermelons. <laughs> Fried chicken and Kool-Aid helps too. Appreciate that humor. Come on, my fellow white nigger. I know you like those. That was, honestly, I thought that was a bit slow. You get Hillary Clinton to denounce the alt right. Wait, sorry. Was there a punchline? I can only hear crickets. It's not. <laughs> oh, you're being serious. I'm sorry. It's already happened, Jim. This is documented and verifiable. When Hillary Clinton denounced the alt right. Loads of black people took to Twitter saying, well, I guess I'm alt-right then. And I was speaking to a few of the alt-right people, and they were freaking the fuck out, thinking the idea that a bunch of black people are going to invade a white supremacist movement, because nobody really knew. And so Hillary Clinton kind of set the narrative on it. I mean, did I, I don't have, like, official membership numbers from the alt-right, but did, I mean, is there any evidence no, I know, that I don't caused have a spike? Okay, okay, yeah. But it was just, you know, like, you know, people, you'd see a lot of people on Twitter sort of freaking out about it. And understandably so. I mean, if you're a white supremacist, the last thing you want is black people stealing your movement or something. I remember her speech and everything. I actually thought that that was a yeah, tactical no, no, that, mistake. That she, she wasted a whole day of campaigning, you know, bitching yeah, about, you know, fucking Ma massive, Breitbart massive and shot. Pepe the Frog. <laughs> so like, I mean, what was that all right. about? She, you know, anyway, but yeah. yeah but ima imagine them whinging about that to the point where Hillary Clinton feels the need to, and Justin Trudeau feel the need to like denounce Gamergate effectively, the alt-right. How does this, okay, how does this help? How does this help you? How does this help you, Kip? It's, it's it's not like you would... helping you, Kip. Well, but this, you're talking in American context or Canadian context. How does, I mean, I thought you were like, you know, kind of jumping in the political cycle over there. How does this help them? I'm not saying it helps anyone. It turns told out you that there's that a lot was of information retarded. we didn't have there. Did, did, did that come out afterwards? Well, who told you it was a bad idea, though? I, I told you that's how it was going to play out. And you were yeah. so convinced. I was like, go for it. Because okay. <laughs> it's just terrible idea. All right. So, so okay, I want to hear, yeah, I wanna yeah, hear your next right idea. Was, I want to hear your next Did you see the, did you see the good censor thing? I did. Yeah. We read the yeah, entire we, we article the, on our We read the yeah. Breitbart leaks, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Was that all out when I had that conversation with you? Well, it's just kind of common sense. Why would you expect a mega corporation to give two sense? fucks to about, about, about a whole bunch of YouTubers? I don't know. Maybe, Sir, maybe you thought not. If, you thought if you were their friends, they were going to protect you. It was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Who knows? You well, know, no, we it, obviously we it, it was because we've seen how it played out with the leaks. Okay. That's, okay, that's great. great. So yeah, I, now we, I want to hear what your next great idea is. That one thing was true and one thing was false. Okay. I want to hear what your next great idea is. So I'll, how does Gamergate I'll, help yeah. us take I'm not going to lie. I'm actually <laughs> interested. Like, I don't know what where you're going okay. with this, man. And I really just don't know. Like, I'm, I'm completely okay. lost. I'm lost. Did you make a big public thing about quitting Gamergate? You sure there wasn't Jim? Oh, no, I, I, made a, I wanted people to know how many faggots were involved in that movement. Yeah, you're, okay, no, yeah, you're yeah, absolutely... Yeah. You're no, but you did. You actually that. did. I mean, you put out a video, like, Gamer Gate's over, work done. I mean, am, am I off base? Like, I mean, yeah. if, if I'm wrong, you yeah, can... Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm, like, quitting anything. That just means Okay, well, right? you said so. Any, okay. Anyway. All right, go anyway, ahead. Right. Okay. Getting, getting back to it, right. So, but the idea of Gamergate is now imprinted in the narrative of the left, Right. It's, I, I mean, I still see see people talk about it from time to time, yeah. It's, it's usually, like, scare tactics from, from the media yes. and stuff, yeah. It's scare tactics. They're, they're worried about another Gamergate coming along. I I don't really think they are, to be honest with you. I think they've <laughs> got their own agenda going forward. You're just saying it for the sake of saying it. Sargon, what's dumb as fuck is saying, let's do Gamergate 2.0. I'd rather I'm fuck myself with a rake than do that. Have, but you know, I know that's where you went. You, you don't know what the proposal is yet, but you've made assumptions. Well, what you're building up to sure sounds dumb, but okay, I guess I can admit I'm wrong. If you've got a better angle, let's hear it. Yeah, I do. I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I reckon we can get Donald Trump to defend Gamergate. <laughs> Why would he, though? You just said Gamergate was well, over. Like... Why would he? Why would he? The fucking troll in chief. <laughs> Why would he defend Gamergate? Oh, there are lots of reasons. <laughs> I mean, it usually he kind of gets involved in stuff that's like breaking well, news, you know what okay, I mean? Like, yeah, it seems to be kind of What would the, what would the benefit everything. even be to that? I mean, he's already made comments about Charlottesville, uh, where he said there was violence on both sides. They got angry for like a week or two, it was in the mainstream media, and then they didn't give a shit. So, 
what like he, let's say he does they go and say Gamergate wasn't a big deal. It, it, you got uh, you got a news blurb and then nobody cares again. They still talk about Charlottesville all the time. So you wanna you wanna try to trick Donald Trump into really? talking about Gamergate. Why would I need to trick him? Well, because he's not obviously done it himself, so you're gonna have to spur that along. I don't think he knows anything about game game. Of course he doesn't. Most people don't. <laughs> yeah, but you, you literally implied that he knew something, right? He, I, obviously, my, listen, Sargo, my, my, point, my point is, let me say this real quick. My point is, he usually gets involved in stuff. He very much avidly follows the media, but he usually gets involved in like breaking news stories or hot cultural topics Dude, like kneeling at on. the NFL he, games he and stuff like that. This is kind Twilight. of a... About not getting back together with the girl who cheated on him, like Donald Trump. Yeah, but that was before he was president, so now he picks his Donald battles Trump a little more carefully. Understands the importance of culture. Sure, I agree that, with that. Right? Yeah, and he gets involved. He gets directly involved, belligerently. In also many true, cases. but GamerGate's not really a thing now. The fact that the left still remembers it like a wound is why it's important, right? For them, I don't think they were expecting this kind of consumer revolt. This this revolt from the bottom. I really don't think they were expecting it. And I think it's really freaked them out. I mean, like, I'll, I'll probably go through, like, you know, the Guardian coverage in the last year or something on Game Again, like the independent coverage, because they still make articles about it. They still talk about it. They still fear it. And if we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, d just a tweet that mentions the hashtag Game Again, it, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how he uses it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking pants. It, you are going to see the spurging of a lifetime. Donald Trump supports gaming. They are going to flip their fucking shit. I, I'd rather be... see him. I'd rather see him talk about Veronica's. Hey, you hear me, guys, gangweed. Huh? What's up? <laughs> What's up, my fellow gamers? Rise up! <laughs> I'm for the Joker's to take it back. But who cares, man? Don't don't you think it would be so fucking funny to watch them do this? Like the reactions. Would be well, how do you so propose bad. to do that? Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just think it's unlikely to see him go out and do sure, the hashtag saying, Gamergate. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, you know. And this is this is why this is why I'm not saying I can do it on my own. Are you trolling but us I, right now? Like, what is this? Like, this I, I don't reminds know, me of that Millennial trolling? Woes conversation you had, where you're like, "Dude, Millennial Woes, you should act like an SJW. That's a super smart thing." Yeah, this I, like I think like an SJW shit. would get the white nationalists' legitimacy. <laughs> oh, these are some big brain ideas. It's I just, undeniably true. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Do you have a they're war bringing back segregation to college campuses, dumbass. I mean, like, it legitimately ends in the same results. But anyway, that's not what I don't want to talk about that, right? No, I'm so, just saying this is a, the same quality argument. I'm really enjoying this. So, you, okay, so let's say you're right and you get care. Donald Trump. Yeah. You obviously do. Why are you here pitching the idea to people if you don't yeah, care? I mean, yeah, but you're, you, whether you're like, oh, I don't like it, okay, fine, don't like it, but you haven't even let me finish it. Oh, there's more? Fuck, the I'm sorry, I'll let you go. No, no, okay, you're right, you're right. If you're, yeah, there's more, I want to hear more. The, you're the crab at the bottom of the bucket that can't see the rest to get out, aren't you? I, I don't know. I mean, do you want to compare well, straight numbers, know. Carl? You keep saying do I don't you, know, do you want to compare straight numbers? What did you do you last night? Was it, was, it 16, was it 1,600, Carl? And When Ralph was hitting eight? That's pretty sad. That's why you're here, isn't it? Because nobody, nobody wanted to I, listen I, I to the idea on your sixteen hundred viewers. But you come onto the Ralph retort after saying it shit for months because he's got eight thousand viewers. I don't. You know should be you're sorry. That's about. really embarrassing. I mean, it is super I, it's, it's tremendously, tremendously. It you're, is. You're the, you're, you're, you're the crab at the bottom of the bucket. Ralph's sitting on top yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're pinching his ass trying to get attention for your Gamergate two idea. Holy shit, Jim. Do you mind? Uh, do you mind? Let me finish Ralph's. Question? Oh no, I want to hear this. Please, more. Why are we talking so much then? Don't ask me questions if you want to speak. I You're going to get answers. Questions. Go, go, you go. Why did you? Why did you interrupt <laughs> when I was trying to answer Ralph's question? <laughs> Being silent so you could talk. Go. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question now. You, you're asking me why, why I'm answering you your questions. Me when I was to answer Ralph's question. Why did you do that? Sometimes you say shit that's so stupid and stunning that I, I have to say something. It's like it's like a tick. It's almost impossible not to say something. Okay, well, I'm very sorry. I guess it's like your debate at MythCon. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Let me talk. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel that you're acting, yeah. I'm acting like you? Yeah, I better stop. I don't want to, I don't want to pull yeah, that look off. Do you think that that's a good idea? Maybe you should stop. To, to act like you? No, fuck no. I agree. Next Completely thing you know, I'll be giving out of context quotes about the age of the child. No, let's go. <laughs> I, look, Jim, you can carry on interrogating teenagers about the size of their boyfriend's penises all you want. I, it's just 
Hey, you know, Carl, I don't weird. don't get upset. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't even know what the I, I love how you tried. Be. I love how you tried black PR and it blew up in your face because you're fucking retarded. Black PR. black PR. Yeah. Oh, I don't get the conversation Jim's having. And oh, I'm getting accused of the same shit that I tried to use. Against them. <laughs> Depends on the child, doesn't it, Carl? OK, Jim. Yeah, it was, on, does it, it was, depend on the child, Carl? Does yeah, it depend it, it, on the it child? All black PR. It's all it's all, all by case by case basis. So you're you're cool. It's case by case basis. We get you, champ. We know what you're talking about. Jim is scientifically verifiable. That people hit puberty on a case by case. Oh no, no! Sex. Please tell me about your it's your ingenious ideas no, about ten year olds and twelve year olds having sex. You're so smart. You're so smart, Carl. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate that. Now, Ralph, oh, no, you're um, what was your question again, man? Sorry. Um, you said there was more to the proposal, I guess. And and yeah, I can't do this all on my own, obviously. Um, basically, okay. So the way the way that um, the way that it seems that the political sphere works is that all of these people act within bubbles, right? Um, and obviously they're very sensitive to perception. This is why social justice activism has worked so well, because the SJWs act as a mob, they email, they, they tweet, they shame, you know, they, they, they are constantly filling the sort of inputs, the, the social media input of these people with the sort of thing that they want them to hear, obviously. And this is how they end up kind of influencing and like washing over an institution. And that's part of it. You know, another part of it is they have activists that go and speak to these people directly, like Anita Sarkeesian. You know, she ends up going to, well, she Intel. I mean, she's she got like the UN, you know, she, like how the fuck did she get there? Well, I know how she got there now. You know, I've actually been doing it myself. And you can make this a remarkably um, efficient and effective thing. If you have a kind of victim narrative, and if you have a particular like group that is opposed to you politically, who you can demonstrate have interactions with you, it's very, very easy to get people already opposed to them to be sympathetic to your side. And with good reason. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it's sensible that that would be the case. You know, why wouldn't you want to find allies and stuff like that? Um, and so I think that with a kind of combined effort of the internet, we could essentially craft a narrative because you have to, to sell to people, you know, explain that this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. That's a lot more fair about what happened in Gamergate. And I think that we can effectively get um, very important people to say that Gamergate did nothing wrong. I, I just, look, I came here. Yeah, I know, it's hard to imagine, I know. It is. It is. This is blowing my mind. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You're, you've blown my mind. I, I was sitting here. We had a lot of ideas just about. You know, what, what is he up to? What, what is he planning? Oh, this, 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 not, this, yeah, this did not come up on the list. Not at all. What I was. This expecting. did not come up the list. But you know, one thing I did when I said I said I'm gonna come in here. You know, even though we've been you know talking shit about Sargon, he's been talking shit about us. Like I'm gonna keep an open mind. If, if it's a great idea, uh, it's a great idea. You know what I mean? No matter who it comes from, I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't see what what you're doing here with this, really. I mean, I, I think that I've made myself quite clear. I I want to. You want to get people to I, come I, I out and say Gamergate did nothing wrong. Biggest but... troll. I I won't see. I mean, there will be nothing more autistic than watching the response to them seeing Trump support Gamergate. That, why that be... why why would anybody? Okay, but, but so what benefit is that to Trump? You want Trump to to create a situation where Gamergate looks good? That sounds fucking how, retarded. How is that not beneficial to Trump, Jim? Trump, because uh, what I <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm having a fucking short circuit, Ralph. We am I, I, I on low on this? No, no I, I really don't. And I'm not, I'm not even I'm not even trying to be mean. Like I said, I'm trying to keep a fair amount. I just don't understand. Like yeah. if, if okay, Gamergate okay, was yeah. happening today, like if this was the heyday of Gamergate, I have no doubt that President Trump would probably be right in the middle of that shit, fucking around, right? Because he's a huge troll. But Gamergate yeah. is like smoldering. You know, we talked about it earlier. It's dead. Now there are some people no, 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 gone, hanging no, out on Kotaku in action, Gamergate. and they don't, actually don't. think it's still going. It's not going. It's no, been done for a long about time. Gamergate. Right? Gamergate is gone. Okay, we're not dealing with an organism of people on the internet called Gamergate. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking yeah. about is the perception in the journalists' minds and in the verified checkmarks' heads of what Gamergate is, because they don't just think Gamergate was an activist movement, right? They think that Gamergate is a latent part of every community that there are going to be people who are going to say, no, we don't care about your moral shaming. We're pro racism or something like that. And then, you know, fuck you. Cause that's how they perceive it. That's what they think. It's not what we think, obviously, because that's nuts, but that's why they're nuts. 
But that's I'm, their perception. I just don't think there's any real juice in it, if you know what I mean. Are so, you so when Trump this, does this, he tends to do it for electoral benefit. Yeah, he loves trolling the left. He loves fucking with these journalists. Serious, dude, but he trolls them all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, but it's for it's for voting purposes. So you see the NFL. The NFL is the biggest fucking sport in the country, if not the world. So when he jumps into something like the, the kneeling thing, he knows that's going to rile up his base and actually benefit him electorally. Um, the cultural issues he jumps into, uh, he, he tends to be thinking about, you know, winning elections and, and riling up the base. And I don't know that. Well, I mean, How do I'm, you know, I, well, I'm just making an observation. I mean, of course, I can't You're read guessing. the man's mind, but You're guessing. Well, so are, well, 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 that's all I anybody guessing? can do when am we talk guessing, about somebody's right? action. Somebody's am I actions. guessing, or have I had conversations with people who might know the man personally and figured out something? <laughs> <that you laughs> what degree away? <laughs> Bannon has no clout in the White House anymore. You do know that, right? I didn't say Bannon had clout in the White House. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who you talk to. However, you do it, know who I talk to. Look, you, I, you know what? I, I won't even know exactly dispute I'm, I'm sure Bannon probably still does have conversations with Trump. I'm not going to like dispute that. But I, I, I just think, you know, the idea of the Gamergate, I, I, just, I just don't see why Trump would do that. Now, of course, Bannon was well, intimately involved with Gamergate behind the scenes. Hand. Trump is a giant troll. You said it repeatedly in this conversation, and you're right. Yeah, he you're is. But no, no, but just... you don't. No, no. Listen, right. I can't tell you what I've been told, but you don't even understand the depths of how much he enjoys trolling, right? <laughs> and I can't. I'm not. Gonna, it was all off the records. So I'm not going to say anything. But this is a this is a fact. Trump is a troll, and we know he is. He likes to make them scream. You too. understand you're coming on a stream and making a public statement that you've talked to people in the. Well, maybe you should try and sabotage it by Gargan. sending it to whoever. Sorry, go, God, Jenny, go. Oh Send my God, you're things. such a pretentious cunt. Will you Fuck just it, let me talk? You're, you're not listening. You're the idiot saying you want to set up this trolling op, and then here you are openly talking about it because you're fucking stupid. And then you're saying you know people that know well, Trump and that he's in on the know on it, you dumb fuck. I didn't say he's in on the know at all. Jim, you keep doing this. You make up shit. God, you're stupid. I you're so fucking dumb. It's painful. It. What is the matter with you? I didn't say he's in on it. How many I? things do you have to fucking murder and touch and latch oh, onto and kill? Into that, Jim. You're currently in the no, middle really. of murder. How many things do you need to fucking murder? And yeah, you're the one who does that. I'm trying to actually How many burnt bodies need to be in the pyre for you to be satisfied? I don't know. How big's your pile? Uh, way less than yours, man. I don't think it is, Jim. Uh, you're I the fucking... fucking you're, okay, oh, listen sometimes. to Chatelet, my, uh, you know, you Mr. Chatelet, Mr. Chatelet the, here. Okay, you are the, the guy okay, who yeah, let's a have series a of people with character statements against your character for you being a bully all the way through. I am such a bully. Name the bully, Sargon. Has Bully Hunter 77 shown up? Has Bully Hunter 77 shown up? You have to do that because you work up so many people. And, you know, it's fine, Jim. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I worked you up. This is what you I do. worked you up, and then care. you quit the internet for a while, didn't you? I uh, know. I don't recall quitting. Uh, guys, uh, I need to take a break from YouTube and from the drama, and I need to stop. Yeah, I've already explained that. Did you miss it? No, I, yeah, right after I kicked your ass and made a fool. No, at the beginning of the stream. Did you miss it? Oh, no, your rationalization for getting made to look a fool? Yeah, no, I heard that. Okay. Do you remember the stream yeah, I did okay. where 30,000 oh, people laughed okay. at how retarded you were? Do you, do you right, remember right, that? Right, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So you agree. That you're retarded? Yes, we agree on that point. Okay, yeah, we agree. We agree. Right. So this is this is the thing, right? So, okay. Ralph, you're completely right. Trump is a troll and he enjoys trolling. And he's good at trolling, too. Uh, I would argue Trump might be the greatest troll of all time. Oh, honestly, yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think we may have underestimated the man's trolling abilities, yes. right? So... I, I genuinely think that he will see the value if we can present the right view of Gamergate to Trump. And I think the pro the primary way of doing that is the FBI investigated Gamergate and they found they did nothing wrong. Because they did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the report and all that stuff, but I mean, okay, so where do you take, where do you go from there? So like, I, I don't, so you take that and, and what... I, well, saying, the, the the ultimate goal is to get Donald Trump to defend it because I mean, that, I mean you, imagine you realize this already happened a couple years ago when that report came out and everybody made videos about it and talked about it. Um, Which one was this? Sorry, the FBI report didn't that come? You talking about the old report? Yeah, is there yeah, a new yeah, one? Yeah, but we need what we need is what we need is Donald Trump to tweet something like the FBI report out and say the media smears about gaming get false. You know, the FBI investigated gaming and found that they did nothing wrong. That, that would be like the perfect you know scenario, but um. You know, I just mean, if that Donald, happened, would I even, laugh? Even yeah, most likely I would, moment, just right? just from the sheriff's just insanity of of him mentioning Gamergate. But I, I, I just yeah, don't. But wouldn't that be funny? 
It would. I mean, yeah, I would laugh at that. If that it would be fucking incredible. I mean, the response would be apoplectic, wouldn't it? But how do you propose? Like, so what, how, how do you propose them to do that though? Well, and then, I, and then, I've okay, kind of, say that does happen. What what is the ultimate benefit of that happening? I mean, just for the laugh oh, itself. Laughing. Yeah, laughing, laughing at the verified check marks. <laughs> Mm. That's the point of this, just so we can have a laugh at the verified check marks spurging out about Gamergate. Not all. First, let me, let me do hashtag not all check marks here, since I have one. Myself. Oh yeah, sorry, I do apologize. But, uh, the, 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 you know, you know the ones I'm talking about, though. Yes, yes, the Jews. No, I'm just kidding. Jews, <laughs> Jews, <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> <Oy> um, <laughs> but, um, wouldn't wouldn't that be amazing? And then the the coverage as well. And not only that, I think you'll find a lot of people like the sort of out of touch. Republican types like Ted Cruz, they understand that social media is important, and I think they can be made to understand that things like Gamergate are an, an inherent resistance to the far left, and I think they'll support that. I think I think they'll run with that. I think they'll I think they'll like it. You know, especially as we can you know we can we can have different ways of framing it that are all true. Obviously, I'm not suggesting we lie at all. We need to be completely honest about what we've what we've got and what what is going on. But I think we can be, and I think it will have the 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 results of freaking them out. And I think it would just be a funny ass thing to do. So how do you propose to, I guess what, what I'm getting, I don't know, maybe, maybe if you said that there, I didn't, I didn't really catch it, but how, how do you propose to make it happen? Like what, what are you going to do to make it happen? The way, the way things happen is by connections. It's someone knows someone knows someone and you have to ask them to get, get their email to send to you, you know, so you can email them. Networking like basically. This. Yeah. It is networking. Yeah. And I don't really like it. I would prefer if everyone had a public email like I do, but they don't. A lot of people keep their de contact de details secret, and it's annoying. And you have to go through agents and things like this. But um, but what I'll try and do is talk to people, and you know, try and get emails for people, and and um, and try and get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. But there needs to be a cultural phenomenon, and that's why um, that's why I need you guys. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your plan is 90% us doing the legwork and 10% you sending out emails. No. What have I misheard then? How does this, what's the All breakdown? I'm not going to explain to you though, Jim. You're just wrong. So what do you reckon, Ralph? You just literally said, I'll email people to get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. And then you guys. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I will do, Jim. That's one Okay, thing. well, fill us in on the rest of this 20-year plan. Well, I don't think I should, given this is a live stream. Okay. Oh, now you're taking my advice. That's good. I think it was good advice, don't you? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, well I'll I, take it then. Thanks. I did consider. I did, I did think about that. Maybe keep it on the low, but I mean, okay, it's well, too late now. Delete the though, stream afterwards if you have to, or whatever. You know. Ah, but, you know, but the thing is, you know, it's not like be sensible though. None of the people who are listening surely want to alert the far left that we're about to make them look stupid. Well, yeah, I, sure. I will say this, um, you know, I actually, you know, there are leftists who watch this show, too. I mean, it's not just all, you know. Well, then they can, people. yeah, but hey, hang on, how much funnier will that be? If they start raising the alarm that we're going to try and make Donald Trump endorse Gamergate or ask him to endorse Gamergate, how funny does that sound on the fucking face of it? Like, <laughs> you paranoid freak. And then Donald Trump might respond to it naturally without us doing a fucking thing. Perhaps. Uh, so, so you're saying collect? You're gonna collect emails of people who might, you know, be in it's touch not with that. leaders. You, you have to. Meet no, I mean, you, you like mean contact that. data. But I, I'm asking. So you're talking to a broad based audience here. You know, we're we're the number one late night show on YouTube. Uh, oh, I hate to, hate to toot my own horn here, but uh, um, Dude, oh, no. but but uh, so what 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 should the people do? I guess. In your, in your idea? Okay. So the 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 thing that I think we need to start doing. And not, and I, I will be doing this as well. Um, is finding everything that they've said about Gamergate that makes Gamergate sound scary, right? Makes it sound impressive and big. Like you know, you remember when they were like Gamergate's going to end up on Mars? Gamergate put Trump. I mean, didn't they say Gamergate put Trump in the White House? Uh, yeah, I want to say it was Sarah Zhang that said that. Actually, the uh, the Who racist the uh, New York Times. I believe that was her that said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was there was one on. Every day, every Joe.com. Yeah, not... she's not the only one that said it, but I, that, I think that's where I first saw it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So, um, I yeah, want to say that. I mean, see... don't, you know, I won't bet my left on, nut man. on it, but I think that that's who said it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the sidebar so you can see it. But again, we can use all of this, right? Because they're, them printing any of this is just a bonus to us. Here's, here's the link. Okay. Let me, 
we find everything like this, like, you know, everything where they say Gamergate did this, Gamergate did that. We make it sound like Gamergate is really capable and really competent. You know, it's everywhere. It's and it's we'll use their sources. They're the ones building this narrative. And then all we need to do is present Gamergate was invested by the FBI and found to do nothing wrong. And then like, I don't know, you know, find, you know, in fact, Mark Judge's Mark Judge's articles on it are perfect because Mark Judge is a political, in, you know, involved in a political narrative, and he was in defense of Gamergate. There we go. You oh. know, in fact, they, they all say that Gamergate's like a movement of Nazis that have put Donald Trump in the White House. In fact, Gamergate was a grassroots move, movement of people against the far left. Here's some articles that Mark Judge wrote, you know, the guy with Kavanaugh. The, the FBI inv investigated Gamergate, found they did nothing wrong. They're lying. You know, we'd like president trump to use his platform to help us redeem our name or something like that however you need to spin it you know however you need to sell it just like that that and the thing is nothing about that is untrue nothing about that is untrue that's a completely true narrative and that's frankly what's happened and this is not only a way we can i mean there are people in game who probably still aren't happy that the name is being smeared by the far left because i mean at the end of the day you you know you might game get fair enough you can say it's full of faggots and and twats and and people trying to make money out of it and all this sort of stuff but it wasn't a movement full of nazis you know and that's how they've tried to portray it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a movement full of woman haters and all this sort of stuff and so I mean, that's... Don't, don't, don't you think though honestly because there I, I do think it had a lot of faggots in it but at the same time you're proposing using something that people are still some hangers on are still involved in i mean i don't oh, they like, uh, uh, talk about there definitely entire, are some still yeah talking about gamer I, I you want to use them as like a political cudgel to win points uh with twitter arguments with journalists it kind of seems dickish oh does it seem dickish well I... yeah i left the movement because i was sick of people using it for their own gains why would i agree to do that now because this is a way that gaming gate can win can I ask you a question, Sargon? Sure. Okay. Are you trying to resurrect Gamergate because that's when your YouTube career was at its peak and now that it's dead, <laughs> it fucking no. gets cratered? No. Because that's what it seems like to me. Let's okay. let's all do I, fucking Gamergate again. I, I really don't think my YouTube career was at its peak during Gamergate. Oh, well, I do. Okay. Well, I, I want to say this, that uh, I just want to point out that the whiskey has not killed all my brain cells and that I was absolutely correct that uh, it was a Sarah Jean quote. And here's the quote. Breitbart played a key role in Gamergate. Congratulations, America. You put Gamergate in the fucking White House. If someone doesn't want to, you know, try and redeem Gamergate's name in the public dialogue, then that's fine. You know, I mean, I don't mind if they don't care. Um, but this is something that, A, we could do. And, it, man, if we did it, it'd just be so fucking funny to see the reaction. And, B... It would be nice to be able to say, well, you know, Trump acknowledges that Gamergate did nothing wrong, blah, 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 FBI, blah, blah, blah. You know, wouldn't that, um, wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, it, it would be, yeah, I, I would laugh if it happened. I just don't, I, I just tend to think, um, like, like I said earlier, Trump, Trump usually gets involved in, in stuff that's hot. You know what I mean? Like stuff that's, that's cult. He gets well, involved in culture, he gets involved in trolling. Uh, definitely all the time, but it t it tends to be hot button stuff. You know what I mean? Right. That has juice uh, among his voter base, and uh, okay. I, I just okay. really don't. Let's, let's pause there because that's a great point, right? Um, I'm not saying I know how to give this juice initially, and that's that's probably beyond what I can manage anyway. Um, again, this is why I'm coming to you and the people listening, right? Mm. Don't worry about how you feel about me. This is you know, don't worry about how you feel about Ralph or Jim or anyone like that, right? But just think, how can we achieve the end result? Um, you know what what would need to go happen what is plausible that would need to happen for us to create a kind of i don't know online not this an online scandal but create the atmosphere for them to give a shit about gaming because they do still bring it up you know so like you know i'm i'm sure someone listening so you, you probably got i i can't i haven't got the the we have almost eight thousand people, people right? almost eight thousand so people watching I'm, I'm sure there are some fucking amazing ideas in in the people listening and I'm sure that, like, you know, after after the stream's over, like, you know, like people will talk about in the comments and say, okay, I'm sure you know, I hate, yeah. hate Sargon, but if we did X or, you know, whatever, and then, you know, a good idea will come out and then we can run with that. And because, like, like you say, it needs to be something hot. So we need to, I mean, I haven't looked at whether they actually, um, you know, what, what's been put out about Gaming Gate today or anything. But, um, it'll be very interesting to see. And or, and not even just to see like if if something does happen that involves Gamergate, then holy shit, why why not why not 
get Trump to endorse games. I mean, Why wouldn't he? Like what you said, and I admitted that, yeah, I would laugh if, if Trump tweeted about Gamergate. I don't think that that's, I mean, it's, it's so it's so crazy and absurd almost that I would have to laugh. But, um, and I'm trying to be completely fair to your idea. I saw a couple people in chat, Ralph, you're being too nice. Well, I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to hear it out. I, I just don't see. So this sounds like a lot of effort when the whole, like, so I asked you what the benefit was. And it's like, well, it's a laugh. I mean, it, it seems like it a lot of effort. So, so when I was sitting there thinking about you coming on and you're like, you got to, great idea i don't want to go into every single thing you said but basically said i have a big idea it's great and i was like okay what could this be me and gator were kicking it around because the damn wasn't wasn't he was at work sounds like he skipped out of work uh for this but uh I did. <laughs> and we we're like well what's he talking about he just talked to bannon maybe the trump tv thing bannon's gonna do it himself like we're sitting here thinking that and then you came in with the Gamergate stuff, and I'm just like, what is that? I mean, this is almost, uh, it almost, it's almost like you're trolling us. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it, you seem really sincere about it. I don't think you are. I, I'm, I'm 100% serious when I say I think we can get not just, I mean, we, like, for example, I wouldn't go straight for Trump. I would probably, you know, try and get Trump Jr. or Stephen Miller. Well, can, can, I, can I ask you something? I mean, you keep saying we, like, and then you say, well, you guys might have the juice to do this. I just oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to clearly state to you, I'm not going to use my audience for your retarded plan. Now, maybe Ralph will go along that's with that. Great. Yeah, that's no, that's great. right. It's not going to happen. Great. It's okay. stupid. And okay. I'm not going to try to get them to, for great. your chuckles, great. your smug chuckles. This is that's, so dumb. That's great. That's great. Awesome. I, I'm glad we're clear. So when you we're, say we, totally make sure that we is a royal one. It doesn't include well, it's, me. Yeah, it is the royal one. I mean, I would never try and include you in something. Good. Happy? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I guess my point is, it, it seems like, you would be sh shooting for something higher. You know what I mean? Like, okay. When, you, when, I, when I say we, I just want to say like anyone who's interested. Well, yeah, of course. And I, I'll trolling. go with what Jim said. <laughs> like, I, I, I haven't, this, this I haven't signed on for anything. I, I just, I'm just hearing you out. You said I have this big well, idea. I haven't, and, I haven't initiated anything. You know, okay. I, yeah. I just, I'll put that out there too. I haven't, yeah, <laughs> I haven't yeah, signed I, on. Yeah, this is just all, you know, shit posting. I'm just trying to be fair like, and let you get in, you know, extrapolate yeah, yeah, on yeah, your this points. This is just throwing out ideas, right? But the thing is, I've noticed that, like from the perspective I have at the moment, I can see a path to achieve a particularly hilarious goal that does nothing but benefit people who oppose the far left and does nothing but enrages the far left. And I don't think there's anything wrong with us, like, you know, following this path. I think it'd be, I think it'd be good for, in fact, I can think of several good reasons why it'd be a moral good to do this, but you know, you guys are generally just here for the laughs and stuff. So I figure, this well, will be a massive fucking laugh. Seriously, if we can get Donald Trump to like defend Gamergate, oh man, the sky's gonna fucking come down. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Just imagining it is incredible. You know what would be better if he tweets out hashtag White Lives Matter? Nah, nah, he won't do that. He won't do that. It's it's. it's I mean, he did Nazis. talk about the South African, uh, you know, farmers getting killed. I mean, I I don't know if you know he's already kind of almost went there at, at that point. Um, no, no, no. The, the thing is, right? I I'm certain that Trump and the people around him are not white nationalists. I'm certain they're not white nationalists. Um, they they are they're like American nationalists, you know. Um, and they yeah they will they are they're definitely concerned about like you know South African farmers as they should be, which is laudable of them, obviously. But they're, they're not going to tweet out "White Lives Matter" because it sounds too much like an alt-right slogan. They they will see it as being too. I mean, he I defended think. people at Charlottesville. That was that was fairly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alt-right. But that's that's uh, not the same as tweeting out "White Lives Matter." I think. Hmm. I think Gaming Gate's the one we've got the best shot with because the SJWs keep bringing it up. If this was 2014. I would say absolutely. He, you know, he was president then. I'm pretty much certain he would be in the middle of it. Uh, it since it's 2018 and Gamergate's been dead for a long while, I, I just don't know uh, that he would actually, you know. I understand. Just just have a think about it. Just mull it over. Because, it like, <laughs> it, it would be seismic if Trump were to tweet the just the hashtag Gamergate. Just, regardless of context, it would be fucking seismic. And if, if it was pro- understanding it as being a cultural force against the the authoritarian far left man they would they would just piss themselves and it would be the funniest thing in the world and he could vindicate game again which i think frankly deserves to be vindicated so um and all i'm saying is i think i think i can actually see a path to it but it, it requires us to like you know you know people who are interested in doing this like it would require some kind of understood coordination that you know we're not going to worry about interpersonal drama it's not about our own egos it's about getting the job done you know so if stuff needed to happen like we'd all have to do our part 
you know um but that's i'll like i said i'll I'll leave it with you guys there um i'm gonna i'm gonna head off because i've got other things i've got editing to do which is amazing fun um but um I look forward to look forward to send me a, send me a message on Skype when you've when you guys have talked over and had a think, and uh, you know we can talk further and stuff like that. Is that cool? Uh, I mean, yeah, we had other topics, but we went so deep at this. You know what? Uh, I'll just I'll just I'll just let it go with that. I guess uh, this, this yeah. is a good one though, right? Well, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll I I don't know. I'm, I'm my mind. I I I I'm I'm I don't know what to say about it, to be honest with you. But well, that's that's the thing. Have a have a think of it, and uh, and you know, give me a shout on Skype when you want to. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for coming on, Sarah. Right. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. Yeah, yep, take it easy. Um, yeah. Uh, what just happened here? I was just about to <laughs> say <fucking nothing>. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, uh, is he trolling? It? Like, I still can't. I don't know. Well, I, I, I brought this up. I, I, really, folks, if you get a chance, go listen to that millennial woes conversation that Sargon had with him where he tried to convince him that. No, no, if the alt-right want to be powerful, you need to act like SJWs. It's super smart. Trust me. It's a good idea. <laughs> so so you keep saying, well, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted about Gamergate? Well, I mean, would I laugh? Yeah, but like, I, why would he do that? For, I, I would laugh from the sheer absurdity of the President of the United States tweeting about Gamergate in 2018, years after it was over. Like, I would, I would more laugh at, you know, I, am I, this is life actually real? Like, what's happening right now? Not from the trolling leftist aspect you know what i mean just like what, i don't know this was just dumb all over if this was like a, a tr- <laughs> this is a troll attempt it was really stupid and uh if this was uh genuine it's even dumber like i didn't pick your poison i guess i don't know do you think he was trolling us or i i, have I no hope idea. he was i i, 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 I really kinda, hope he was I, i'll agree with him i really do hope this was his attempt at trolling because it's painfully a bad idea but i will say i have heard somebody el- uh, else in his circles uh, mentioned to me that they wanted Gamergate 2.0. One of his capos specifically said that. They, do. They, 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 they literally, word for word, we need to do Gamergate 2.0. Can you help me? <laughs> so and, he's uh, to be my and this, this, was, this was about a month ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I won't call that individual out because I, I want to, you know, I know he gets real upset when you share DMs. Oh. I'll leave it at that. Oh. Well, I have a couple ideas. I, I, won't, I won't make any speculations here while we're on air. But, yeah, I uh, – so that's – so when he was giving his pitch, like I said, me and Gator were sitting there thinking, oh, this is something big. You know, he just talked to Bannon. Maybe there's, like, something actually going on here. And then he starts talking. He starts talking about Gamergate. And I, and I finally just said, are, are you? Are we trying to – what are you trying to get the – so – and then you showed up, and he's like, great, you're here too. It's like, what are you trying to get the band back together? What, what is this? It's like, oh, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I don't, I don't, I, you, you pick your angle. It's, it's a really bad troll or it's a, a really horrible idea. I don't know. I was expecting, I was really hoping for like year two of the 20 year plan. I was, I wanted a front seat to be able to listen to that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I, I just wanted to make sure, like, I, I was sitting there and I was talking to Gator. And I was like, look, I'm going to keep an open mind. You know, if it's a great idea. It's a great idea, even if it's from Sargon. And then, and then we went to to Gamergate this, this 2.0. Is, like, like this this is literally that fucking image macro of the guy that goes, "Her dur, I'm retarded," and they're like, "You're a retard," and he's like, "I was just trolling you." Like that's what we just witnessed in this fucking call. Like the end result is you made yourself look like a fucking retard. Oh. I uh, just yeah I don't know. By the way, I just saw JF message me earlier. Sorry, man. I just now saw it. So I was on air. I was just completely befuddled by what was <laughs> what was going on. So uh, I apologize. But yeah, I I don't know. Uh, and then so he's making such a big point of coming. You know, literally we've been you know badgering him for months to come on the show, call him a pussy, and and this and that. He wouldn't even come on the charity stream. And no, this is this is dead. I, I told you this uh, earlier. This is yeah. the exact. This is a joke, and uh, you know, uh, Ice Poseidon's audience makes this joke all the fucking time. It's like, oh, you know, ten thousand viewers, uh, twenty thousand watchers. Look who shows up in the chat. It's once you started getting viewers. Now suddenly, I bet you said it was last night. I bet it was those comments. I told you he really hates it when you bring up numbers because they are important to him. He may try to play it off like it's not, but it is. And those jokes last. Uh, Last night or the night before, whenever the fuck it was, when you had eight thousand people watching and you only had sixteen hundred. Yeah, I saw those. I didn't even, yeah, yeah. you know what? I didn't even bring it up on air, but I definitely saw them. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. You had, and I said you had eight Sargons watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I did read your comment. Yeah, maybe I did. Now that I think about it, yeah. that's uh, that's funny. I don't know. I just and he was so excited in the, in the Skype though. I was like, well, oh, this must be something good. Like maybe maybe some type of big idea. And then, hey guys, I've got a great idea. Despacito too. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it went. God, it felt like the underwear gnome of fucking plans. Like, part one, I email people. Part two, part three, Trump tweets about it. <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck was that? Uh, I still... I mean, Gamergate is so dead. Like, if Gamergate actually had, like I said, juice, to use the term. If it had some juice, if there was, you know, a lot of stuff going on, may, you know, maybe he would. He'd probably already be tweeting about it. You wouldn't need to come out and, and try to do that. But Gamergate is fucking dead. Like, what? I don't know. I was about to make a joke that I shouldn't make on on YouTube about. Uh, did it, does it involve trains? Does yes. it involve trains? Peacefully yeah, sunsetting uh, someone. Yeah. Maybe that would be a good way to start it back off again. But that's about the only way I could think of. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't see it popping back off ever again. So it's pretty right, well, this, this was this was fun. I'm gonna go yeah. uh, hit my head with a brick and get this <laughs> stupid idea out of it. I think. <laughs> it's just, uh, Wow. Okay, that was uh, that's something new. All right. Something well, hey, else. hey, when yeah. you guys go fight the good fight under Gamergate 2.0, <laughs> um, I'll be there laughing. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it, man.